Welcome to BK Sweet English. I am BK, your English teacher. Today I have to teach you guys about the causative verbs. What is causative verbs? The causative verbs are a verb that causes something. It means you are having, making, or getting someone to do some things for you or some, for someone else. So there are some common kinds of the causative verbs. Causative verbs are make, have, get, let, and help. So first of all, I will give you a brief information about all of them. That word is have, word is get, word is make, word is help, or is let. So first of all, if you are getting someone, it means that you are persevering him. It means he is equal to you. If you are having someone, it means you are paying some commission or you are paying something for him and you are having him to do something for you or you are having to do something by him for someone else. The other one is make. Make means someone is your subordinate or you are able to force him to do something for you. Or you are making someone to do some things for someone else and you are making him means you are forcing him to do something, to perform something. The other one is let. Let means that you are allowing someone to do something and the other one is help means you are helping someone to perform something. For example, if there is a structure for active, uh, for active uh, causative verbs, subject plus causative verb plus agent plus verb plus object. For example, misal dete hain, Example number one, I heard the barber cut my hair. It means I will have the painter paint my, uh, my, uh, my house. Now, if you are having some painter to paint your house, it means you are paying him something and he is coming to paint your house. It means he is, you are commissioning him, you are paying some money or something to the painter and the painter is coming here and he is painting your house. It means you are doing something for him and he is doing something for you. He is doing something for you, he is performing some business, some job for you and you are paying for his services. Number two, number three, I'll make my little brother clean my room. Now, I'll make my little brother make uh, clean my room, I apne chote bhai se apna kamra saaf karwata hoon. Now, you're making him, you're forcing him. Means he's your little brother and you're able to make him clean your room or to make uh, him bring a glass of water for you or to make him bring some tea or breakfast for you. It means you can make someone do something, you're forcing someone, and if you're forcing someone, it means that you're making him, or you're making someone, okay? That's okay. The other one is get. Get means that you're persuading someone to do something for you, means he is equal to you. He is not subordinate, he is not working for you, means he is equal to you and you are just getting him to do something for you. For example, here is an example. I'll get my sister to do my laundry. You are persevering. Your sister is very nice for you. She is, uh, uh, she is very nice for you. She does everything for you. So you are getting your sister, you are persevering her to do your laundry, to wash your uh, clothes or your uh, shirt or your stuff. These are the active, uh, the active causative verbs. Now here are some passive causative verbs. Means the structure of passive is subject plus causative verb plus object plus verb per past participle. For example, uh, and we do not need here the object as, as we know that every year in a passive, we don't need the object. Either you put the, uh, the object or you don't. It doesn't matter because the thing is clear without your object. So the same way it here. In the category forms, we don't need in examples the object. For example, number one, I had my hair cut. I hear my hair cut. Now, now how did I do this job? The object is the is my hair, the barber I had my hair cut. 
Now, who did this job? The barber. We already know that the barber does this job. The other one is, I got my car fixed. By whom? I got my car fixed by whom? By a mechanic. We know that the cars are being fixed by mechanics. That's why we don't need to add or put here the object. And either if we put, that's okay. If we don't, that's still okay. Now I'll teach you a little bit in Urdu to make you more clear about the causative verb. Causative verb kya hai? Causative verb yehi cheez hai. Ji, teen, char, paanch isme marahil hai. Ek to ye ke madad ke tor par. Ya ijazat ke tor par isme let for help wagaira hai. Teen jo important hai have, get and make. Ab ye teenu kaise istmal hoote hai? Ye aise istmal hoote hai. Agar ek admi aapka barabar hai. To aap usko kail karte hai kisi kaam ke liye. You are getting him. Jaysi hamne yaha misal mein diya ke. I will get my sister to do my laundry. मैं अपनी बहन से अपने कपड़े या अपना लैंड्री करवाऊंगा तो बहन तो इक्वल है लेकिन वो नाइस है शी इज नाइस फॉर यू तो आप उसको काने करते हैं और वो तो वैसे आपकी खिदमत के लिए तैयार रहती है तो बहन दूसरा जो हमारे पास है मेक मेक एक फोर्स इसमें है एक आदमी आपका या मातिहत है या आप उसे कोई काम करवा सकते हैं करवाते हैं सो यू आर मेकिंग सम वन टू डू समिंग फॉर यू मिसाल के तौर पर जैसे हमने यहाँ पर लिखा हुआ है कि आई विल मेक माई लिल ब्रदर क्लीन माई रूम मैं अपने छोटे भाई से अपना कमरा साफ करवाता हूँ तो आप छोटे भाई को तो वैसे आप ऑर्डर दे सकते हैं आप छोटे भाई को कह सकते हैं कि हमारा कमरा साफ करें और वो करेगा या इसी तरह आप मरातब में भी अगर फ़र्क हो मरतबे में आप सीनियर हैं दूसरा जूनियर है तो यू आर मेकिंग सम वन टू डू समथिंग और उसके बाद जो एक हैव है हैव में आप किसी के जिम्मे कोई काम लगाते हैं किसी काम के बदले कोई काम मिसाल के तौर पर जैसे हमने यहाँ पर एक मिसाल दी भी है कि आई हैव द पेंटर पेंट माई हाउस मैं पेंटर से अपना मकान या रंगसाज से अपना मकान पेंट कराऊंगा या रंग लगवाऊंगा तो इसका मतलब ये आप उसको कुछ कमीशन तो देते हैं उसको पेमेंट करते हैं तो जहाँ पर आप किसी को पेमेंट करते हैं कोई असाइनमेंट देते हैं आप वहाँ पर हैव लगाते हैं जहाँ पर आप किसी को परसवेड करते हैं यानी कायल करते हैं तो आपका बराबर का आदमी वहाँ आप गेट लगाते हैं कैजेटिव वर्क के साथ एजेंट के साथ और जहाँ के ऊपर आप वो लगाते हैं क्या कहते हैं जहाँ के ऊपर आप किसी को फोर्स करते हैं मेक लगाते हैं और जो एजेंट है आप फेसिफाइस में इसमें एजेंट का इस्तेमाल नहीं करते हैं आई हैड कट माय आई हैड माय हेयर कट मैंने अपने बाल कटवाए एजेंट कौन है आपका जो बारबर है तो आप वहां पर लगाएं ना लगाएं कोई मसला नहीं है यहां के ऊपर इसका स्ट्रक्चर एक बार फिर देखें सब्जेक्ट जमा कैजिटिव वर्ड जमा एजेंट एजेंट वही होता है थर्ड पर्सन जिसे आप काम करवाते हैं जैसे मिसाल के तौर पर ये एजेंट जिसे आम हम एजेंट का लफ्स इस्तेमाल करते हैं पुलिंग स्टेशन पर आपका एजेंट बैठा होता है वो जो इलेक्शन कंट्रास्ट करा होता है उसके लिए काम करा होता है पॉलिटिकल एजेंट जिसको हम कहते हैं जिसे हमारे यहाँ इन इलाकों में एक अफसर होता है पॉलिटिकल एजेंट जो अंग्रेज के दौर से ये लफ्स आ रहा है पोलिटिकली इशूज को रिजॉल्व करता तो इंतजामी अफसर जिसको हम कहते हैं तो एजेंट के लफ्जी मानी कुछ तकरीब कार की भी है तो जो कुछ कर रहा है आपके लिए या जिससे आप करवा रहे हैं जो करतूत में मुलविस है वो एजेंट है एजेंट के थ्रू जो कुछ होता है आई होप दैट एवरी थिंग इज